Good morning. Good morning, Deacon Gaten. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Awesome. I woke up this morning. What a blessing. What a blessing to be awake this morning and touched <laughs> by the love of God. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Giving it, it us strength and amazing grace to start us on our way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we you should. Did. You we should be it. so thankful. We should yes. be so thankful this morning. <laughs> yes. God, God woke us up this morning. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Good morning, D. How's yeah. everybody doing? Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. And, and what makes it so amazing, we were able to uh, uh, get out of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. You and you wrestled know, in your right mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, a lot of people on their sick bed, you know, they, they wake up, but they can't get out of bed. That's right. And That's it's just right. a, a blessing that God still uh, uh, allow us to uh, uh, be able to uh, get out of bed. Yes. And, and 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 do the things that we normally do that, that maybe we take for granted. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Reverend Thornton, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, Big Game. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm. I, I've been missing you at church. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I've been I've been doing a lot of um uh, online uh streaming. Uh-huh. And so I've been always uh preparing myself for for uh the next uh next online service. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I work with other ministries also. Okay. All right, good, great, great. And so, uh, yeah, I was uh, I was there for the symposium, so I was online, bro. Hey, yeah, I was online on the uh, symposium. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't get to get make it down there in person. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I was going to ask you, uh, you uh, knew. Um, uh, Shirley Thomas' uh, daughter's uh, father that passed away. His last name was Joan. I can't think of his first name. He used to go to Beacon Hill. Are you? Uh, did you ever know him? Jones. Yeah, Jones. He's tall and kind of heavy set. I know he used to go to Beacon Hill. Not that I can recall, Doc. Maybe if I seen his face. Yeah, yeah. He was he was in the fact papers this uh, week. Uh, they they buried him uh, on what was it? Saturday, I guess. Last Saturday. Yeah. But anyway, I thought maybe you knew him. Probably by face. Yeah. All right. So uh, what time is it? Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let us go in the word of prayer. Uh, this morning, our Father, we pray that you would um, guide us and be with us throughout this Sunday school lesson today. And we pray that uh, we will uh, continue to uh, uplift your name. And we pray that uh, we will continue to material in your word that we can be example of those that we are teaching and we are uh, Christ-like in every way that we uh, uh, need your uh, guidance and, and spiritual uh, 
uh, power to, to help us to uh, live your word and walk your word and to teach your word. And I'm praying right now that you will bless this Sunday school lesson and all the ones that uh, 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 chimed in and, and want to uh, get more uh, uh, better in your word and understanding your word and, and, and your teaching. We pray that you would bless us and keep us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God. Okay. Um, again, this is our fall uh, quarter. And uh, the title of this uh, uh, quarter is God's Law is Love. God's Law is Love. And our... Um, uh, uh, first unit was uh, the lesson was love complete law falls short that was our first unit in this fall quarter and our second unit is faith triumph law fail so this uh, uh, second unit is about faith uh, how strong is your faith? Because uh, the lessons, uh, the unit said that faith triumph and law fail. Okay. And uh, uh, the title of this lesson today, October the 1st, our first Sunday, uh, lesson number five, inward and outward, devotional reading, Ezekiel 36, 25, 30. Background scripture, Roman 2, 1, 29. And our lesson read, uh, Roman 2, 12, 24, and then it skipped down to verse 28 and 29. For as many as have sinned without law, shall also perish without law. <clears throat> and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearer of the law are just before God, but the doer of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law. These, having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Which show the work of the law written in their heart, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thought the meanwhile uh, uh, causing or else excusing one another. In the day when God shall judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Behold, thou art called a Jew and retest in the law and makest thy boost or boast of God and knowest his will and approves the things that are more excellent being instructed out of the law and art confident that thy thyself art a guide of the blind a light of them which are in darkness an instructor of the foolish a teacher of babies which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore, which teaches another, uh, teaches thou not thyself. Thou that preaches a man should not steal, does thou st steal? Thou that says a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? Thou that at horrors idols, does thou commit sacredness? Thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonorest thy God. 
For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles to you, as it is written. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Our key text is, he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, this uh, lesson jumps out at us to uh, uh, make us do a self-evaluation uh, uh, of our stewardship, uh, how we doing uh, when it comes to uh, the word of God and, 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 and Jesus teaching, uh, how we uh, stack up uh from a scale of one to ten how do we uh grade ourselves uh we only know because god knows our conscience uh anyway the um uh background of this lesson uh it uh start with the uh uh jews that was in rome and um the uh, emperor of Rome, uh, Claudius, uh, he expelled the Jews out of Rome. Why? I don't know. But uh, once he died, the Jews uh, came back into Rome. And before they left, they was uh, mostly in charge of the church in Rome. Uh, remember, Paul had never been to Rome and uh, when he wrote this uh, epistle of Rome and um, uh, most likely uh, Peter uh, might have uh, started this church in Rome. I, uh, I'm just speculating, but uh, uh, the church uh, uh, in Rome and like I said, the Jews had uh, been expelled and they uh, started returning after uh, uh, the emperor had passed. And they just like Christians today, uh, uh, wants to uh, be in charge of everything in the church. And, 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 and they wanted to, uh, 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 ease those uh, uh, Gentiles out because, uh, you know, while the Jews was out, somebody had to take over in the church or keep the church going and the uh, Gentiles was doing that. And when the Jews came back and said, hey, uh, this is this is my chair and I, I'm, I was in charge of this or that. And, and so confusion started. <laughs> and, and, and word got back to Paul that uh, the church was in uh, chaos and knowing Paul, uh, uh, since he knew uh, how the uh, Jews uh, function, because, you know, he, 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 he was raised in the uh, Jewish tradition and he, he knew how uh, the Jews carry themselves when it comes to the law. Uh, 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 that uh, 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 God gave to Moses, you know, they was diehard, uh, uh, law-carrying uh, uh, believers. And they really uh, 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 split on the law because they thought that was going to get them in heaven. But uh, knowing Paul with his background on how Jesus knocked him off his... Uh, 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 
uh, ass or donkey or whatever he was riding and and uh, blinding him. And, and, and when he came uh, uh, to realize and who uh, uh, was in, 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 in charge of this bright light, uh, uh, that convinced him that he was not uh, 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 doing the right thing according to Jesus Christ and his uh, teaching. And so Jesus knew that Paul was a dedicated person, but he had the wrong motive. And 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 Paul realized that uh, I've been wrong all of this uh, time, and 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 I was brought to the light. Uh, it, it was uh, amazing how I was brought to the light and, and and changed my mind and redeemed me and convinced me that Jesus Christ is the way uh, to go through your faith and belief, and so. Paul wrote this letter to the Rome Roman and 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 tried to tell them that the law is not uh, the absolute way to get to heaven. Uh, it's good to have the law uh, uh, in your uh, 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 heart, but you need more than the law in your heart. You need the Spirit of God in your heart. You you have to be converted, your heart has to be converted. In other words, you have to be born again and believe in Jesus Christ if you want to make it to heaven. And uh, sure, uh, uh, treat your neighbors uh, uh, with love, but you have to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and do a surgery, surgery, surgical procedure in your heart, in the spirit by uh, 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 getting that old stony heart out of the way and put that love or uh, spirit of God in your heart. So, so, so uh, uh, the Holy Spirit can dwell in you and all your goodness will come out and others will see your work. So uh, this is why Paul uh, uh, wrote this letter uh, to the Roman uh, uh, church to try to straighten all this confusion out. Hey, you cannot make it to heaven just by obeying the law. And even though you said you knew the law from back to back, and like the old folks say, from kibber to kibber, but you still need something else besides the law. You need uh, uh, the love of Christ, and you have to believe that Jesus Christ uh, uh, was resurrected, and, and, and uh, 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 he's the one that going to... Uh, uh, I'll save you. <clears throat> you just can't depend on the law alone. Uh, and, and this is what Paul uh, tried to uh, write and tell the uh, peoples of Rome. But uh, uh, just like us today, you know, we uh, 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 know about <clears throat> uh, Jesus' teaching, but do we uh, follow Jesus' teaching? Do we walk the walk and talk to talk? And, and uh, this is what uh, Paul is trying to say, uh, uh, you have to be a uh, 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 brotherly love. You have to uh, 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 let, know God that he's no respecter of person. Uh, he's not Jew nor Gentile. Uh, you know, he, he's God all by himself. And even though uh, uh, the Gentile uh, in that same um, uh, uh, era in Rome, uh, they use excuse like they didn't know the law, and since we 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 can't be uh, judged by the law, but we have that conscience that uh, we can't get away from our conscience because we was uh, uh, born with a conscience in the image of God. God made us in His image, and and, and His His. His, his uh, uh, spiritual uh, uh, awakening is in us when we are born. We just born with the uh, uh, notion that we understand right from wrong. We can't get away from that. That's, that's no excuse when you try to say you didn't know and, and, and you got a, a conscious built in you that says that you know right from wrong. So 
uh, that w- there won't be no excuse at the judgment seat because uh, Jesus Christ knows what you was born with. You know, he's an omnipotent God. He knows everything. He's all powerful. So we can't use that as an excuse. Okay, uh, before we get into the uh, scripture of the lesson, anybody have any comments? <clears throat> Yes, sir. Listen here, uh, Galatians uh, 3 and 24 says, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. And everything you said was very profound because you hit the nail right on the head. The law wasn't to save us. It was basically to direct us. Yes. Until Christ comes on the scene. And so uh, this is where this lesson is talking about, basically. Law represent more, even though it's God's word. And I want to be careful how I say that. Lord have mercy. <laughs> is that uh, law was mostly for the flesh. Yes, it was for the spirit, where Christ was more grace of the spirit, amen. Mm-hmm. For us to be justified in the spirit, see, we couldn't be justified in the flesh, only justified in the spirit. So, this lesson that you're getting ready to get into is basically talking about our inward part, which is our original part. But a lot of people is having a hard time when it comes to spiritual context of the Bible. They're having a real serious, they're having a hard time by the letter of the law, which the lesson talks about. The letter of the law is just believing what the law says, but not understanding from a spiritual perspective. I wish I had more time, but you're getting ready to get into this lesson. But the thing about it is that I understand that this is talking about your inner being compared to your outer being. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank God. Uh, you're so right. It's all about the uh, inward, not the outward. Uh, you know, only uh, us human care about the outward on how we look, on how we uh, uh, dress and make sure every hairstring is in place and Da, 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 da. But God do not care about all that outside. Look, he he, he cares about the inside, and and that is what we uh, uh, need to to zero in on our inside, because what's on the inside is it, it, going to show on the outside. If it's good inside, it's going to be good outside. Amen. Okay. May I say yes, something? Yes, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. God bless you and good morning to everybody. Good morning. Uh, only, uh, in, in addition to uh, Reverend Thorne, um, what he just said, uh, the thought just hit my mind is that, you know, many times people, uh, uh, they say a lot, but they don't demonstrate what God is talking about. So it's yeah. not enough to say and say, do this and do that, but you got to demonstrate what you're talking about as well. Yes, thank you. Amen. All right. Thank you for your comments. Right on point. Okay, let's uh, 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 dig into the verses and um, uh, open it up and dice it and, and try to explain what Paul is is uh, saying to the uh, Roman here. Uh, I'm going to read verse 12 down to 16, and we're going to uh, discuss uh, those uh, 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 five verses. Uh, For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearer of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. 
For when the Gentile, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their heart, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. In the day when God shall judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Okay. Um, that that uh, 12 verse, uh, we kind of discussed it a little bit, but uh, 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 to express the distinction between Jews and Gentile in Paul's days, was to say that Jews were in the law while Gentiles were without the law. Uh, like I was saying, the Jews felt that the law was going to uh, save them because they knew it. Uh, 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 they had it memorized and, 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 and they was quick to condemn others for breaking the law. And they they taught the law uh, uh, for word for word, and 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 and, and uh, they were observing people in the church. And soon the uh, uh, people break the law, and they light in on them, you know. And they were breaking the law themselves. And and, and this is what Paul was telling them. Just because uh, uh, you were teaching the law and know the law, but you were still uh, 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 violating the law. Even one little tip of violating the law, uh, uh, that, that's, that's a sin because you violated the law. And that's why uh, uh, we cannot uh, 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 be saved by the law because uh, God knew that he needed uh, uh, something more for Christian uh, these days to, to accept and to follow. That's why he sent his uh, uh, only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to teach us what thus said the Lord and receive him because he is the savior of the world and he's the light of the world and, and we must uh, 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 understand that Jesus Christ uh, came to save us from our sin because the law uh, Moses presented to the children of Israel, the, they, that law will not save you. Uh, it's good that we still uh, 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 try to strive to, to do what uh, uh, the Ten Commandments say do. Because they are not uh, 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 anything that's going to uh, cause you to uh, 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 backslide. They're going to make you better if you uh, 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 obey those uh, Ten Commandments. But God is not saying that you got to uh, abide by all these commandments. That's why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, and, and to relieve us from all that uh, uh, remembering of the law. And, and um, uh, nowadays, uh, uh, as Christian, all we have to do is believe. And then after we believe and express our faith in Jesus Christ by, by uh, 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 living in the faith and walking in the faith and understanding our duty as Christian. You know, uh, once, once we are saving, uh, sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, you can't go home and sit down. God wants you to bring others to Christ. He wants you to teach the word. He wants you to live the word and and and, and bring others into the uh, 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 family of, of God. And this is our duty. That's why we all are evangelists. We we should all be be uh, talking about Jesus Christ uh, as our Savior as much as we can. You know, uh, we don't have to go crazy about uh, 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 going about it. You know, you can't uh, uh, do it in the um, 
uh, uh, inappropriate time, you know, there's a time and place. And God don't want you to uh, uh, be uh, uh, disturbing when you're trying to uh, uh, represent him. You know, you have to do things decent in order. Okay. And so uh, 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 this is what uh, 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 Paul is trying to tell the uh, the uh, uh, Jews in Rome and the Gentiles in Rome. You know, the law is good, but there is something uh, better. Uh, you have to put Christ in your heart. And because when you put Christ in your heart, you just feeding that conscience that, uh, uh, that is built in you. Okay? And, um, and, and you can't only be just doers of the law. Uh, uh, you, you're going to, you have to be uh, 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 not just doer of the law, but uh, you have to uh, believe that uh, 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 Jesus Christ is the one that we uh, should be obeying and understanding. But uh, if, if, if you are doing of the law, you know, you, you're going to be justified and, and, uh, and, and, and not just hearer of the law. Paul is saying that uh, you, you got to hear it and you got to be doing of the law. You just can't uh, 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 stop there. You, you, you have to keep on uh, uh, learning and accepting the, the, the word of God. And um, uh, uh, the 14 verse, you know, uh, uh, when, when the, the, the Gentiles felt that they didn't have the law and they don't understand the law, that they have an excuse. But that is not the case. Like, like I was saying earlier that we was born with that instinct to know right from wrong. So, so, so we, we know when we were little kids, you know, we understand right from wrong, right in and there. And, 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 and mama didn't teach us that, you know, it's built in. And so it, it, it carry on over into our uh, 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 adulthood to know right from wrong. And when we understand our conscious, we, we, know, we heard that little old uh, still voice. No, 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 you shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Deacon Baby. I don't know Good about morning. you, but mom taught me. She taught me with that switch. It was instilled <laughs> in me, okay? It's like when they said do something or don't do something, it's like, and then before they would hit you, it's like, did you hear me? <laughs> no, you didn't hear me, did you? And so that's sunk in quick. It's like, oh, yes. I know if I didn't hear, if I didn't do, that means I didn't hear. Because they would start out, oh, you didn't hear me, what I said, huh? Hi, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. that's the way they did it. And with these yeah. Jews, they thought they had a holy right. They was, look, by do hey we are god's chosen we are entitled we can go through the rituals and we still going to heaven we can pretend that we are we 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 make it look like we are christians but <laughs> we don't actually do so so paul is breaking it down look if you ain't doing it you didn't hear it you didn't hear what he said. How can you be hypocrites and condemn others? You can preach and you can teach and you can profess that you are Christian, but your heart ain't in it. That's what he's telling them. Yeah, you got the law, but you ain't living by it. It's like, and then he breaks it down and say, look, the sinner who's sinning and don't know that they're sinning, they don't know the law. He said, look, it, <laughs> what are you? What does that make you? You preaching to them about they're seeing, but you're doing the same thing. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, <laughs> what you're doing in the dark and on the sidelines. Yeah, you preaching and teaching this word, but are you living it? That was yeah. the difference. And he's trying, trying to tell them, doing not hearing is what makes the difference with God. There yes, it is. Sir. Break it down. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. God bless you for those comments. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, as Christian, you know, it's good to know uh, what the Word of God is all about and what it's saying. You know, it's not complicated. It's very simple. 
uh, all we just have to is is believe and 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 have the faith that uh, it is true that uh, we are saved uh, in Jesus Christ and when we accept Jesus Christ and 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 and, 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 and we understand that this is what Jesus, uh, what God sent uh, his only begotten son down here to do, to teach us how to make it into heaven. And, um, you know, we have a certain walk we need to walk. We have a certain talk we need to talk. We have a certain attitude we need. You know, everything lined up uh, 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 to help us to get to the kingdom of God. You know, it's not that complicated, and uh, we, we just have to, uh, to 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 make sure that that other voice don't lead us in the wrong way, and don't let our friend lead us in the wrong way, and stay uh, 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 in the realm of Jesus Christ. You know, His teaching and His love, and once we uh, get that under our uh, 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 belt and in our conscious, you know, uh, God got us. You know, there's a, there's a saying that said, God got this and God got me. So you have to make sure that you understand what you're saying when you say God got you. If God got you, then you can't be going off track and don't come back and, 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 and you know, let God abide in you if God got you and, and, and help to be a good uh, uh, example for, for Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ. All right. And um, uh, 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 verse uh, uh, 16, uh, the day when God shall judge the secret of men, Jesus Christ, by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. So the gospel of Jesus Christ says that uh, 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 we shall know, or we we know right from wrong, and you can't get away because of uh, playing ignorant of 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 of, uh, of the gospel. Or uh, I think uh, one of those founding fathers it might have been Ben Franklin or somebody said, "You can't plead uh, uh, ignorant of the law." for an excuse to get off the hook when you violate the law. You know, if you didn't know the law, you should have known the law. And so uh, what Paul is saying that uh, you have a conscience that knows right from wrong, and you can't use it as an excuse for for violating uh, 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 what the words say. You have to uh, uh, live by the gospel and, and understand that uh, God uh, put his 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 love and his stamp on you when uh, uh, when he said, "Let us make man in our own image." So we we are bound, you know. We might not uh, 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 accept and believe, but uh, we are, we are bound to follow uh, 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 God's uh, 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 law and and, and his uh, gospel. Okay, are there any more coming before we move on? So, so God's children, uh, they, they, there's, a, there's a right and a wrong. There's a signal inside that goes off and says, my conscience says it's wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it. My conscience is convicted me. The Holy Spirit is convicting me. It's like, so God's children, that's why it says uh, his sheep know him. They know him. He knows them, right? All right. 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 So, so say for instance, that sinner uh, is, is doing, I mean, they seem to have a heart of love. They do, 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 but they haven't, you know, professed Christ as their savior yet. Right. So, but uh, uh, it's something similar to, what was it? Um, Peter was sent to um, minister to, what was it? Was it Cornelius or somebody, the Gentile? And uh, the Gentile caught God's attention because he was always out there in the community giving and doing, yet he didn't know uh, Jesus in the pardoning of his sin. So that person definitely 
had that already inside him from creation because God put it in him. So God sent Peter to minister to them and the whole family was baptized in, you know, that after he ministered. But see, this is the thing. That sinner out there doing good, huh? Ain't professed yet, but then you got the Christian that is preaching and teaching good, but they on the down low are not living right. They might be living in fornication, adultery, or lying, deceiving, and stealing, or whatever, right? And so it's like, God, we can't get away with nothing. We might think we are. <laughs> That's right. But God's eyes are on the sparrow. So That's it right. lets us know that signal. If we are professing that our hope in Christ and that we are Christians, it's an inside thing. It's a heart thing. It's a heart condition. It's a, the spiritual condition of my heart because out of the heart flows the issues of life. So what you see me do, that's me. That's right. <laughs> Not Amen. what I say. But what I do, that's me. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, that's already in there from creation. So yes, yeah, that shows us yeah. that God's people, God's got his children and Satan's got his children. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Great, great comment. Great comment. Yes, 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 ma'am. Uh, anyone else have anything to say on that? Um uh the uh, the uh verse that we just um uh discussed uh, that is referring to with or without the law and and a just judgment you know we're gonna have a just judgment one day so uh verse uh 17 to 20 um Behold, thou art called a Jew, and retest in the law, and makest thy boast of God, and knowest his will, and approvest the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. Thou art confident that thyself are a guide of the blind, a light of them which are in darkness. And Instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babies, which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Um, the Jews, as we were saying, and the God was saying, they were boasting and bragging about their credential of the law. But God doesn't care about all of that. What are you doing? How are you living? Uh, are you a good example of the law instead of just boosting about it, uh, boasting about it? Uh, uh, when when I was in school at UW, I took a introduction to philosopher, and uh, uh, I was young and didn't have too much uh, in my head to help me create a good proposition or argument that the professor wanted us to discuss. And uh, he came out of there with the Bible in his hand and, and uh, uh, he said, okay, come on, you uh, Christians, let me hear you. <laughs> and, and I was shaking in my boots because I was uh, a little timid about, about the professor. You know, I figured he knew everything and uh, I said, who am I to, uh, Try to get an argument against him, and and uh, uh, he was trying to say that Matthew Gospel and Luke's Gospel was a uh, conflict, and 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 there's uh, it wasn't saying the same thing, and all of that, and he wanted us to discuss that, and I was just too uh, timid to, to even open my mouth, but uh, I told. Uh, our pastor, Rev. William, uh, uh, about it. And he said, oh, man, I wish I was in that class. <laughs> I, I knew uh, Rev. William would have told that old professor up. But uh, I didn't have enough uh, learning then, and I didn't have enough uh, uh, boldness to uh, to discuss it like I would uh, do it today. But uh, 
when when we are teaching God's word, uh, we should know our lesson. And when we're living God's word, we should know that we are living the word according to the gospel. And 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 uh, when we know uh, the word of God, you're gonna. Uh, step and walk bold and be like a tree planted by the water. You're not going to be uh, moved. You're not going to be intimidated. Uh, when, when, um, when, 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 when Paul uh, wrote this to the, um, the Jews and the Gentiles, uh, he, he kind of put a little uh, 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 philosopher on him. Uh, you know, his proposition, they begin in this word or of the condition of if and then type such argument future one or more hypothesis, hypothesis uh, and he followed by a logical conclusion. Uh, the word if is implied compared to Galatians 3, 29, 29, where if is explicit. The hypothesis take the form of what we might call a, uh, a resume of righteousness and, and listen to all things the Christian or Jewish background might uh, smirkly cite as evidence of their superiority to Christian or Gentile background. The Jews of Paul, they claim to know the divine plan and desire of the creator. They were confident that the law experts got enduring pattern for life in all aspects. These standards were seen as timeless and absolute. And so the Jews, they had confidence in, in, uh, in themselves about knowing the law, but, uh, uh, and, and, and teaching the law, like we said, but they weren't living the law. But they are put it on you, you know, and, 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 and expecting you to abide by it, but uh, they was coming short of, of uh, uh, keeping the law themselves. So that's what uh, uh, we Christians today have to realize that when we're teaching the law, we have to make sure that uh, 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 we're living the law also because they are watching you and God got his eyes on you. And so you can't be hypocritical about teaching God's word. We, we have to, uh, uh, make sure that we understand what we are teaching and, and what we are doing and what and how we are living. All right. So, um, uh, um, and Paul go on to uh, uh, say that the uh, the Jews had confidence in themselves, you know, of uh, 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 teaching the one that didn't know the law, which he called the the, the blind, and 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 and. And, and when you were uh, uh, teaching somebody, you know, uh, you and they are, are blind or in the darkness, uh, uh, you have to make sure that you are, uh, are giving them the correct uh, uh, light. You know, you don't want to give them uh, uh, light that uh, you don't even believe in yourself. You know, you have to make sure that it is the light of the world, which is Jesus Christ, you know. We, we have to uh, uh, make sure that we are leading the blind correctly and that we are teaching them the truth. And, 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 and so that when they do uh, see the light, they'll be instructed correctly and, and they don't have to uh, 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 try to uh, uh, get rid of uh, what you uh, have taught them uh, if it's wrong. You know, we, that's why teachers have to be very careful uh, in school or, or out of school. When you're teaching, you, you have to make sure that you uh, are teaching some good logical concept because uh, your student uh, depending on you to give them some uh, good stuff and to give them the truth because the truth shall set you free. Uh, uh, before Paul uh, uh, reached conclusion of the argument, Paul added more hypotheses. These two were described, these two verses describe the action, the ancient Jews attitude toward Gentile as a guide of the blind. Uh, the Jews had spiritual insight that the Gentile lacked. 
Uh, if you look at Isaiah 35 and, and verse 5, uh, combined with the image of being a light of them which are in darkness. The situation describes spiritual blindness. Okay. Uh, uh, Paul said, consequently, Jews believe themselves to be instructors and teachers in that regard. So again, make sure that uh, you are abiding by the truth when you are teaching God's word. Okay. Um, uh, the correct qualified uh, 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 teacher to recognize spiritual blindness in his fellow Jews who saw themselves as spiritual guides yet suffer from spiritual blindness themselves. So Paul was telling the, uh, the Jews that uh, uh, they, you think you got spiritual guidance, but they were suffering from spiritual blindness themselves. They did not know that, uh, I won't say they didn't know, but they, they were uh, uh, acting like they uh, uh, knew what uh, thus said the Lord. And uh, uh, um, they should have uh, uh, become as, 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 as the blind whom Jesus described in Matthew 15 and 14. Uh, many people today suffer from spiritual blindness, unable to see Jesus for who he really is. Uh, we first have to correct our own <clears throat> area of spiritual blindness. And that correction won't happen until a spiritual mature person make us aware of our deficiency in this regard. Uh, we, we have to make sure that uh, we know what we are doing and, 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 and be able to correct it according to, uh, to our uh, conscience and, and the word of God. Uh, when, when we ask God for uh, uh, spiritual guidance, uh, he's going to help you uh, uh, wake up that conscience in you to, to, to guide you. Uh, mostly, uh, we have that, that uh, inner uh, inward uh, spiritual thing in us and, and God uh, or Jesus that help us to wake it up. It, it, it's already in us. We just have to uh, 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 let, let, let Jesus Christ come in and, 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 and uh, shake us so, so that what's in us will be moved. Uh, and, and help us to uh, understand and, and do that right thing spiritually. Okay, uh, are there any more comments? <clears throat> okay, moving right along. Well, D. Yes, uh, sir. I was, like I said, uh, you're hitting the nail right on the head about this lesson. Amen. Spiritual blindness. You touched on something that that brought, that brought me to thought that um, spiritual blindness is a serious thing. It's worse than physical blindness, but a lot of people don't believe that. Because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you might have 20/20 vision and you still can't see. Amen. And then mm -hmm. when you start realizing that you, you you seen something or you thought you knew something, Amen. And, and you truly didn't, you'd be saying, what was I thinking? You That's not necessarily what you was thinking, what was you seeing? And what was you believing from that thought? And so the thing about it is a lot of times spiritual blindness is just not from, from the, uh, from the uh, physical. And sometimes it's really not from the, from the mind thing, it's, it's really from your thought, how you, how you think things, how you believe in things, and you and you and you ain't gonna change no matter what, and uh, and how much uh, people might show you evidence that uh, that that's not my, that that's not true, but yet you gonna go up here and say yeah it is you know and I don't care what anybody else said we've been there, amen <laughs> we've been there. Amen. Yes, we have to find out for ourselves the hard way 
that we was blind to ourselves and we let our own self into a ditch. And this is what the lesson is talking about. It is talking about the focus more on your inwardness, yes. not your outwardness. Yes. It, but it's hard when we're so conditioned in this in this body, amen, that we were born with, amen, and, and, and been living and doing things good, bad, and indifferent for so many years. And that uh, we're just conditioned. Mm -hmm. and we, a lot of times we don't want to admit that, but I'll admit it. You know, mm -hmm. conditioned. That's why it's an ongoing, ongoing by, by, by battle until God calls us on that we're going to always have the spirit warring against the flesh. Amen. 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 Yes, yes sir. Yes, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes. And, and in addition to what Reverend Thorne just said, uh, what comes to mind, that God looks at the heart uh, and, and man looks at the outward appearance. And it is like Deacon Doris said, it is a heart, it is a heart issue. You know, uh, uh, it's like I said before, it's not enough to say, do this and do that. But what, what are my motives behind what I'm saying? Am I living what I'm preaching, what I'm saying? I have to do a self-examination of myself every mm -hmm. day to make yes, sure that my motives are pure. My motives are the way God would be pleased, you know, and so forth. So it's something, uh, we die daily, every day of our, of our sins. So I'm conscious, and you're absolutely right. We know right from wrong, but it's not enough. To, uh, uh, to say, do this, do that, when I'm not doing it myself. Amen, amen, yes, yes, you're so again. right. Yes, go ahead. Another, another um, thing that jumps out of the page, <laughs> Paul is actually telling them, look, it's because of you guys, huh, that the outsiders frown on God. Now that is heavy right there. It's yeah. like it's because of the church people, yeah. uh, the people outside of the church don't want to come in. They don't want to know our God because what? We're hypocrites condemning them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Paul breaks yeah. it down. Oh, my God. I would yeah. advise read the New Living Translation of this and the Message Bible Translation. I tell you, it breaks it down pure. You ain't got no question and definitely take personal inventory. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, we just getting ready to get into uh, blasphemers and hip hypocrisy on verse uh, 21 through 24. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he really breaks it down there. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, thy, thy therefore, which teaches another, teaches thou not thyself, <laughs> now that preaches a man should not steal, does thou steal? <laughs> thou that says a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? <laughs> thou that abhors idol, does thou commit sacredness? <laughs> thou that makest thy boast of the law, <laughs> through breaking the law, dishonorest thy God. Mm -hmm. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. Now you hit the <laughs> nail on the head. <laughs> uh, you up there preaching, do not steal, and you robbing yeah. the folks blind. <laughs> Oh my God! You preaching yeah, do not yeah. commit adultery, and you are committing adultery. Yeah, he breaks it on down. I mean, that causes you to take personal inventory. So, in other words, he's saying, "Don't you get uh, comfortable and all smug <laughs> with the law, and you ain't living it." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You preaching yeah, it, but you ain't living yeah. it. Oh, he he breaks it down, and then tell him, "Look, it's because." Odds of you self-righteous people <laughs> that yeah, the world, yeah. the rest of the world out there is frowning on God. Now, you know, God, yeah. don't like that. <laughs> that's why judgment <laughs> starts at the house of God. That's what the scripture yeah, says. 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> we, we have to be very careful when we are up there teaching or when we are, are teaching. Preaching. You preaching, know, teaching, preaching. all of it. Yeah, yes. We have to make sure that uh, we're just, we just not coming from the lip. It has to come from the heart, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He makes it plain. He even points out to these self-righteous Jews that even the person out there, the Gentile that is doing right, got a, a good heart and ain't came to him yet. Hey, he looks up on him uh, uh, as a, a stronger possibility because guess what? You are in condemnation. You judging the world. You judging everybody outside the church. But then guess what? You're not living it yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that one that is living out there morally right. Oh, right. their heart might right. be even better because they're not committing all these sins. It's like, hmm, they got that, that, get, that gets God's attention. It's like, yeah, God already know us in the church, in the church. Yeah. That's where it is. Yeah. It's like, like, yeah, because these people are not coming to church, they're looking at us. They're mm -hmm. looking at us, how we live. That's what right. it is. We are the example. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's scary. Yeah, and and the more I teach this lesson, uh, uh, the more I find out that I need to check myself and I need to uh, 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 continue to grow in the spirit. So, yes. so, yes. so my teaching, my teaching, and my conscience can line up on what I'm teaching. Hallelujah! You know? Yes. Yes. So, so when I study God's word, it uh -huh. exposed me. It it undressed yes. me. It undresses. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I like he undresses that. us. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. and and and, um, and it will. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, so, so the teaching of the word and and understanding it and make yeah. us uh, more like Jesus Christ. And, uh -huh. and that's why yeah. we all should study the word and and understand yeah. the word, and we'll right. be better. Because do the word. You know, we, we get it, we, we put it on the inside and it's gonna yeah. show on the outside. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let, let me say this real, real quick. Now <laughs> I've been listening, I've been listening to Deion Sanders uh coaching and teaching of his player. Uh -huh. Man, man, he sound like he in church. <laughs> I, I, I think he's a I, I think he uh, uh he's a Christian and uh uh, 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 he didn't say that he he saved, yeah. And, and yeah. but he sure taught like he saved, and he showed yeah. teach he teach those kids like he yeah. saved. He said, yes. "I'm not going to tell them no lie. I'm going to tell them the truth." Yeah, yeah. And that is why he got so many followers on TV, and yes. you see, he got to stand full down there in Colorado. Yes, yes, yeah. making all and, that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and if you if you would listen to what he's saying, man, he says some good stuff. Yes, he does. Yes, yeah. I listen to him. Yes, yes. And yeah, he does go to I, church I here said, and there. <laughs> oh, and he said, uh, 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 "I just didn't come here. God uh, 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 brought me here." All right, you now. Know? And yeah. he said he's gonna do the best best he can. You know, uh -huh. and and I I like it because. He's teaching the kids the truth. He ain't trying to yes. uh, tell them a whole bunch of stuff right. that is not true. He tell them uh -huh. that now some of you gonna go into pros and some of you not gonna go into pros. But I want you to yeah. get your lesson. I want you to learn something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. He's 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 good. I enjoy. <laughs> it. But, but anyway, uh, let's make sure that 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 we are. Uh, 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 teaching and 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 and, and, and preaching. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know what that man uh, uh, White had a song. Uh, practice what you preach. You know we we <laughs> have to do that. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, 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 the last two verses. Uh -huh. <laughs> We've got to run yeah, out of time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 it talks about Paul talks about true identity the outward appearance and mm -hmm. the uh, inner conviction. Mm -hmm. So for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. 
but he mm -hmm. is a Jew which is one in water and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter mm -hmm. whose praise is not of men but of God. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. all in the heart, mm -hmm. all in what? You know, yeah. that circumcision, uh, it, it started back in uh, Moses' days. Right. No, I, I said in Abraham, Abraham day, yeah. It, yeah. you know, that was the covenant thing right. between God and Abraham. But mm -hmm. when the Jews got a hold of it, they just went extreme. <laughs> You know, they thought they thought that was it. You know, you circumcised, that's gonna get you into heaven. No, no, right. no, no. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's all that was in what, the mark in the flesh. what we hmm. what we put inside, you know, it's not the flesh. And uh, uh <laughs> circumcise our heart. That is what uh, Paul is trying to say. Convert, mm -hmm. uh, be converted. And and uh, flip your heart and 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 put God in there and love, you know. And we yeah. we do that, you know. Love will endure. Love is long suffering, and uh, yes. yeah, what's in your heart will go a long <laughs> way. It will help you through all your trials yes. and tribulation. Go ahead and preach now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, any other quick comment? We run out of time. <laughs> Yeah, sister, I'm a, a deacon darling, could you pray us out? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, sure. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for this day, a day we've never seen before. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord God, for this lively, interactive uh, Bible discussion, Sunday school lesson. It was great, great reminder, Lord God, to be doers of the word, not just hearers, but doers. Live it, believe it do it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So give us the strength, oh Lord God. Give us the spirit of discernment. Strengthen our faith, Lord God, the more we read your word and allow your precious Holy Spirit to bring us the understanding and then give us an obedient spirit and desire to do your will over ours. Father, bless us the rest of the day. Go before us Give us traveling grace to and fro and bless us, Lord, with a spirit of praise, honor, and worship all unto you through Christ. Amen. 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 Thank all of you for tuning in and God bless you and I pray that you have a blessed day today. And those going to church, uh, we having communion today. And uh, for your information, uh, Reverend Devers be will be installed at four o'clock at Mount Baker today. And um, mm -hmm. God bless you and God be with you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. God bless. God bye. Bye bye.